Oh yeah, today at Nod's Berry Farm, we'll be trying the new fish tacos at Wilderness Broiler. Cordy's Corner open this weekend, so you know we'll definitely be checking out the inside of that. And we will also be sharing some Knott's Pro Tips. Knott's Pro Tip number one, Knott's Berry Farm is cashless. What? So when you are here at Knott's Berry Farm this summer, you're gonna wanna find the locations of these ready stations that you do see right behind me. You have one right in the front. I know you can find one in Ghost Town at the General Store, and you can also find one in Camp Snoopy at Grizzly Lodge. And Knott's pro tip number two, if you have a family, dude, you have to come here at Rope Drop, man, as soon as it opens, because you can get on practically all the rides. Like right now, we're gonna see how many rides we can get in on Camp Snoopy in the first hour. We have one hour. First one, Wood Sox Air Mail. We have a temporary delay, so let's just hit it. Head on Sidewinder. Come on. This is the benefit of coming to Knott's Berry Farm at Rope Drop. Look at this, dude. This is a walk-on. The time right now is about 9.05. Go. First right down, and we're talking ammo, just hit back up, so let's go on. Two right down, now our third one is flying in. It's around 9.30, and as you can see, man, there is still nobody here in Camp Snoopy. Now on our fourth side, minus plunger. While we've been here in Camp Snoopy going on rides, Eva has been going on the big people rides. And how many rides have you been on, Eva? Three. And, and now onto the camp bus. So the kids have been on five rides. Next ride up is going to be the Rapid River Run. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey. We'll ride about an hour, maybe just a little over an hour. We got room for one more ride, right? So what ride should that be? Rocky Mountain Trucking Co. Oh yeah, Rocky Mountain Trucking Company. This is Brody's favorite ride. Now this is my least favorite ride in this area because of the honky honky honk dude. All day, every day, honk 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 honk. The current time right now is 10.10. You just saw in Camp Snoopy alone, kids and I got on six rides. But outside of that, Eva, she loves going on the big kid rides. She actually got on five rides. So a total for everybody today, we got on 11 rides in the first hour of Knott's Berry Farm opening. So if you are a family with a bunch of little kids, you're gonna wanna hit up Camp Snoopy as soon as the park opens. Now for the first two hours of opening, Camp Snoopy is very moderate like that. You'll be able to pop on rides in and out like this. And also about an hour and a half, maybe two hours before the park closes is when Camp Snoopy is dead like that also. But if you are an older kid trying to optimize your day, I will have to say when you get here at Rope Drop, don't worry about Ghost Rider or Silver Bullet because people, that is the first rides that people actually gravitate toward. If you wanna get as many rides as you can in a day, I'm gonna say hit up the boardwalk area. You'll be able to get a hang time multiple times like this. Fiesta Village has some great rides. You'll be able to go on rides like that, dude. I'm telling you, if you come here at Road Drop, dude, you probably in the first two hours go on 95% of the rides here at Knott's Berry Farm. Best Knott's Berry Farm pro tip or any theme park pro tip, you gotta come to the parks as soon as they open. Now before we talk about some more tips, let's head off into the boardwalk area and get into our first update. Now, do you remember these kiosks that you used to have to go up to to get a game card just in order to play these games? Well, you no longer have to go to these kiosks because each game themselves has the secured by Freedom Pay, dude. You can use your ATM cards on here. And when you do get your pay to go cash or whatever it's called, you'll be able to swipe it right here instead of coming here to get a game card. I really do like that Knott's Berry Farm it did add this to every single one of their games. But in the arcade itself, you're gonna actually have to get a card because that is the way that they keep a track of your tokens. 
you'll be able to collect all those candies and goodies from all those tickets that you did win. Now, a couple more tips before we get a Cordy's Corner. Now, if you are coming for a day, two things if you do have the funds that I recommend you getting is the daily plan. Now, the daily plan, I believe, is gonna run you between 30 to $40, but you will be able to get a meal every 90 minutes at select locations here at Knott's Berry Farm, dude. I highly recommend you getting that. People that have got the meal plan, go ahead, comment down below and let people know what you guys think about it and if you think it is a good bang for your buck. Another thing is the daily drink plan. That's gonna be $16.99 and you'll be able to get a souvenir cup and you'll be able to refill your drinks every 15 minutes. Now, another thing I highly recommend you doing if you do not wanna get that, Go ahead and bring your own cup, dude, because you can fill this up with ice cold water. That's something you're gonna need this summer. Now, if you are on a budget, one good thing is Knott's Berry Farm allows you to bring in snacks. So go ahead and bring in some chips, some sandwiches to get you through the day. Another good thing that you might wanna pick up, and they have the souvenir popcorn bucket back for $15, and if you wanna refill it, it's $2.50, dude. This right here is a great buy. Now it is currently 11.10 and look at the boardwalk area, man. There is practically still nobody here almost two hours after the park is open. So I highly recommend you come in here during rope drop. Now if you have a child on the spectrum or a disability, we will take you to the front later on and we will show you where you can get a blue card to help your kids get on the rides a lot faster if they have problems waiting in line. I was a week off of Cordy's Corner. I said originally that it was going to open up last weekend, but it is open this weekend, dude. So great to have Cordy Corner back. Let's go to inside. Now time for the long-awaited reveal of Cordy's Corner. Whoa, bro, dude, this place is looking pretty fancy, and it smells brand new. Yeah. yeah. Just look at this, dude. I love the ornament all around here. Look at this. They got a new Snoopy over here. Yeah, man. So this originally, there was a wall back here. So they did break down this wall. So it's now a nice curved angle that I'm really liking on this. Yeah, dude, I'm really loving what they did with Cordy's Corner. Now, as of right now, I'm not seeing any new gear. But look, they have the Knott's Opley that you can get. Actually, this is new gear right here. Look, they have a Knott's Opley shirt that you can get for $24.99. They also have this Knott's Ghost Town California shirt for $24.99. Got a blanket for $44.99. And look at that. That is pretty cool. Let's go around Cordy's Corner and see what else is around. So it looks like a, a lot of old stuff is still here. I like this shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts. $34.99. Ghost Town Knott Sheriff. That's going to be on the back. Dude. Cordy's Corner has been needing this. I'm loving it, dude. I'm loving it. Oh, look, this is new. They have a Knott's Berry Farm Silver Bullet shirt that you can grab for $19.99. They also have a Silver Bullet hoodie. Dude, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you guys think about the new look of Cordy's Corner. The pizzeria looks like it's coming along pretty good. Oh man, look how far along the inside of the pizzeria is, dude. Yeah, for sure going to be up in July. Now we're at the back end of Ghost Town for our last update. So we're here at Wilderness Broiler to try the new item here and we're gonna try the fish tacos served with cilantro lime slaw and a cauliflower lime rice. 
So if you have a meal plan or a daily plan, you can get this item on it. If you're paying out of pocket, it's gonna cost you $14 and some change. But let's go ahead and dig deeper into this and check it out. So first off, you might think that this is regular rice. It is not. It is cauliflower rice. You do get two good portion sizes of fish tacos. Get a little bit of lemon right there and some salsa. Let's dig into the cauliflower rice first. Surprisingly, dude, the cauliflower rice wasn't that bad. You do get the taste of the cauliflower itself, but it does have a consistency of rice. You get a hint of lime flavor in it. I really dig this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and give the cauliflower rice a five out of 10. Now let's try the fish taco. Got some lemon right here, squeeze that on top. I will say this taco is pretty fat. Surprisingly, this fish taco is pretty decent. So the fish itself was cooked really good, dude. It had a nice crunch to it, and it is a fat piece of fish. The slaw itself had a nice little pickled flavor. The cojita cheese gave it a nice little bite to it. That dish was a very generous serving, dude. I really enjoyed the cauliflower, thought it was a healthy alternative. On this dish, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a six out of 10. I recommend you trying this, especially if you like fish tacos. Would I get this dish again? I would for sure get this dish again before it ends. These fish tacos would go great as a meal in summer nights. Dude, I would for sure use a tasting tab on this. Actually, last year, they had a fish taco just like this, and they had a Cajun shrimp taco, dude. They need to bring items like that back. The carnita taco this year was okay at summer nights, but you gotta get rid of that sorizo, dude. Throw in this fish taco. That's what I'm talking about. Now here's our last tip of the day for families that have children or anybody on the spectrum or anybody that has a disability, you're gonna wanna go in the front of Ghost Town. So here's Ghost Rider right here. You're gonna wanna come right over there to guest services. You're gonna come in here and you're gonna want to inquire about the boarding pass program. Now the boarding pass program is for people on the spectrum or disabilities and what you're going to do when you go in there you're going to let them know that per se that my daughter is on the spectrum and she cannot wait in line so after that they're going to ask her a couple of questions and then they're going to give you a purple card now the purple card they're going to put the person's name with the disability so this would be eva and how many people are in that party so there would be a party of four now everybody in that party will be getting a wrist Wristband. And in order to go on any of these rides right here, you have to have the wristband and the person's name that is on the purple sheet has to be there for you to be able to get on that ride. So this is a little tip for all the people out there that have family members or children on the spectrum or a disability. You're going to want to come here, ghost town, to guest services and ask them about the boarding pass program. But wait, there's more. We got one more update. They have this back portion of Ghost Town back open and it is welcome to the Gold Mine Trail Grub and Sips. So you go back here, you're gonna have some vendors that we do see during the events. We have the postcard guy over here on our left. Always love his work. Look, we have Whittles right there in the back. What else do we have? Over here on the right, it looks like we have a peanut shop where you can get a bunch of peanuts. What is this? Got a gold mine trail good. They got some iced teas and different lattes. Now you can get a small one for $5.50, get a large one for $7.50 on these iced teas and the iced lattes on the bottom. Be $6.50 for small, $8.50 for large. And check that out, dude. They got an iced hibiscus boysenberry latte. And as we turn around over here, look, they got jerked out jerky, man. Dude, jerked out jerky's back. If you guys remember that last video we did with jerked out jerky, we had a lot of those spicy jerkies, dude. Y'all ready? Are you ready? No. <laughs> the ghost pepper rings, are they really that hot? We shall see. Yeah, we'll see. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh. That's hot. Oh, that's hot. <gasps> oh, whoa. I, I can't even. <laughs> I can't even think. I'd definitely stop off there to try their stuff. They have really good jerky. 
What else do they have? Got some kettle corn, popcorn right back here. And if you're looking for some drinks, some snacks, you go right back here to the grub and sips area. And if you want to get a look at the brand new maze that is taking over for Paranormal Inc., you can see right over here the construction is. And right down below here, right down there, if you go ahead and get on your hands and knees and look underneath, you'll be able to see. And there we go. So now we're on our hands and knees looking down and you can see how far along the construction is. So that's going to be it for us today here at Nod's Berry Farm. Really appreciate every single one of you taking time out of your day. Stop on by and watch this video. Hope you guys like the updates and the tips that we did give. Now if you are a Nod's Berry Farm vet and you have some tips that I missed, go ahead and comment down below. Share the tips with everybody, man. Thank you for every single one of your guys' support, man. This channel is what it is today because of every single one of you. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and consider about going down below and subscribing, man, because we would love to have you on future adventures. Well, every single one of you have a great day, and we will catch you next video. Deuces! Deuces.